This exam walkthrough is of the grade 12 IT paper 1 from the 2019 November exams and we are dealing with the second part of the question 3 which is the object oriented programming question. Now in the video before this we created a whole bunch of public methods that we are probably going to be using in this part of the question. So if you haven't seen that video, go watch that video. So you are familiar with which functions and procedures and constructors we're going to be using. And a little tip in an exam, if they ask you to create a function or a procedure or constructor, there's, then you are definitely going to use it. So if you get the end of this question and there's one of those functions or procedures you haven't used, then you've missed something because they will never ask you to create a functional procedure and they don't, and then you don't use it. So 3.2. We've got a program that is provided that the global variable has been declared. So they've already uh, connected with the, the class that we've done. So if I go to this program, what they're meaning is at the top here, you can see that the unit for that object has been added to under users. And there is a global OBJ player. So we can use that for our question. So question 3.2, write code on this button. On the 32.1 button so i'm going to go here to the program so that button so we can see there's two edit controls let's just check what their names are edt name of play edt way to play so we're probably going to use that in this button and they want me to use the name of the weight so yes and instantiate the player object and then display a message saying hey that's been done okay that's what we do so we're going to, first of all, get those into parameters. I think it'll make my life a little bit easier if I get the name and the weight into parameters. So the name would be a string and the weight would be, it's weight, eh? yeah, it's weight. And the weight would be a real value. And we're going to say the name we're going to get from edt name of player. Dot, what property? The text property. Correct. And that's a string and its name is a string, so there's fine there. The weight, however, we are going to get from EDT weight of player. And we're going to get it from the text property there. But that's a string and we want to put it into a real. So we're going to convert this from what it is, a string, to what we want it to become. A real. String to not real float. Because we know string to real. Okay. So we got our two parameters. Now we want to instantiate object now this is a very key step please remember whenever we use an object obj player is the, the, the object we've got every single time you want to use one of those methods you say the object name dot and then you have access to all the functions and procedures and that that you created so it's very tempting to just go obj dot create however whenever you instantiate you do not instantiate like that you always there's a little trick to this one this is the only one that's different so you take the object's name and you make it equal assign the value of what type of object it is what is it it's a t player so we're going to say it's of top is it equal to t player dot create so that's the only shift in your in your in the way you normally do things you don't say the object dot or object player dot create with the create you say it's it's assigned the, the t player the type of object is dot create and now we give it its two variables and luckily for us they're the same as what we've called it there it doesn't have to be but we're going to send through s name as an argument and we're going to send through our weight as an argument so we're sending that through to here and it's going to put that value whatever the value is inside s name is going to now go into f player name whatever's in our weights now going to go into F weight of player so that's instantiating so take note see there it's not object player dot create it's not that it's the object is assigned the value of what type of object is dot create and so on okay and then we must just show some sort of message saying yo everything's okay um, object instantiated I don't know what they want some sort of message they didn't tell me what type of message they want instantiated I always don't know how to spell that I spell it's normally bad okay so there we go so that should work we'll test it all at the end just to make sure it all runs properly okay so that's the object boom next question now we've got a component that must be used as in the display area so there's a, a rich edit I assume right we're going to use input box to get the heart of the player and we're going to call the relevant method using the argument to get the BMR and then you're going to call the two string and display the BMR. So we want to just 
display that. Now we already know how to display that top half because we got a two string function that can do those first three lines and then we're going to have to manually do this BMR. So we've already used the constructor. We're going to be definitely be using the two string and then that's going to be the working out the BMR. So that's three of our methods that we created that we've used by the end of this question. So what are we doing for this question? Let's go boom. So we're first going to get an input box for the heart, I think it was. Yeah, the heart. So let's go over here. We're going to get a variable. We're going to have to store the BMR somewhere. So let's make it our BMR because it's going to be a real number. And then heart will also make it a, a real. And so let's do our input box. Uh, our height is equal to an input box. Uh, enter player's height. And put nothing there. I'm going to put a default value in. Do they give a default value that we can test with? For example, if the, if the player's weight is that, and the heart is 1.8. So we're going to give heart as a parameter. So we're going to give 1.8. So I'm going to put 1.80 as default, so that I don't have to type it in every single time. But this is an input box. It returns a string, and we want to put it into real. So whatever gets sent to from the input box returned we want to convert it from what it is it's a string to what we want it to become a float so that it can fit into our height okay so that's my input done fantastic now i can calculate the bmr by using our bmr and we are going to assume that obviously we're going to click on that button first before we use this one so our bmr is equal to our object player dot calculate bmr because it's going to return the answer the bmr to this our bmr value and it needs a heart to calculate it if only we could get the heart from somewhere yes we can it's, we just asked for it fantastic our height we send that through to this method it's going to calculate the bmr and send it back and that's going to be stored in there then we can just in this rich edit rich edit dot lines.add now we want to add the first three lines are exactly what would be in our two string and they even tell us so we don't even need to think that much about it Let's just say the object player dot two string and it's going to turn a string and just put it into the rich edit and then but the only line that's not there is the bmr so we can have to manually do that and the way they want it done they want the word BMR colon space and then the value to one decimal place. So let's do that. So we can insert the word BMR colon space. And then after that, we're going to say, okay, float to string F. And let's put in our, our BMR variable. And we're going to make it FF fix just to make sure that it goes to one decimal place. Okay. You could have probably called the um, this whole thing over here. You could have called that over there if you wanted to as well. It's one less line that you need, but you can do that. Let's just let's test it to see if it's going to work. We get the same results. Do, 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 do. Compiling, compiling, compiling. Quickly compile. I can feel it getting there. It's going to get there. It's going to get there. Go, 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 go. There we go. Okay, at least there are no errors. So. We first click on here to instantiate Olaf, who's 70.3 kilograms. That was done. Okay, thank you. And now we're going to calculate the BMR. Yes, we want that as the BMR. Boom. And that looks like we want from here. Is that not? Hey, it looks pretty perfect. So there we go. And they've got no scores yet. Fantastic. Okay, great. Next question. Okay, so there we got the button for 323, three, and we're going to update the score. The user must select one of the scores from the radio group and then click on update score and each time the player scores points during the game. Okay, so this is going to be like in a live game. So every time they score a point, you're going to click on the two or three or five, depending if they score a conversion penalty or try. Um, extract the score from the radio group, call the correct method to update the score, and then call a method to return the scores and display the updated score of the player in the panel of the component. So it looks something like that. So when you click on that update score, it's going to look something like that. Example of output for the value of two was that. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's go do it. So in our program over here, 
we're going to go to the button for that now we want to get the value from the radio group now there are lots of ways of doing it there's a very long way we can do it so i'm going to make a little variable here for the points of type integer and i'm going to use an if statement and i will just type it out in advance to save time so i typed it ahead so if you look there there's a radio group where the first options are two then a three then a five so conversion penalty try so the first option in a radio group is normally the item index is a zero that's the item index is a one and that's item index is two so it starts from zero and then goes one two and so on so i did this so i just went and checked the item index and if it's a zero then you can say the point is two else if it's uh item x is one then it's three so that's that's the long way of doing it you can do it in one line we know that whatever that number is is the value of the one that's selected so what you could do instead of doing that you could just say our points is equal to whatever the radio group dot item is so we want the particular item but we want the item of the one that was selected so in square brackets we need to put the position of the one that was selected and which one was selected well it's the one that's got the item index so we got to say the whole radio group one that's selected so we go boom so there we go but this items is a string so we're going to convert this from a string to an int and store it into points and i think that'll do the same thing so if i use a show message here just to make sure that it's right uh, into string uh, points so this will work we know that will work but if i take that out we just use this code you'll see that it should show whatever we select is going to be displayed in the show message that's not what we want to do but that's how we can get just that whatever's in the this whatever option they selected in the radio group we just in one line can go and get whatever that text is so there you can see it's a two and, it, and if i select a three it will say it's a three and if i select a five it will say a five okay so go get the value from the one that's go get the actual label of the selected one okay so that's basically what's happening so we can take that out boom so we've got the points now we need to say the object player and we've got to update the points now there's an update score a procedure and we must give it a score to update so we're going to give it these this our points variable as an argument so they can go take that send it back to this uh, object it's going to come down here to update score is going to put that it's going to take what currently the score is which is zero and add the two or the three or five and then the next time it does it'll add on to that and so on and so on so there we go and then after that we must actually display in the panel i think it was the panel you know there's a panel dot caption and we want it to look like this updated score colon updated score colon yes updated score updated score colon and then the player's updated score and how do we get the latest score well there's another method we have made which was get score which has the latest score so we want to know we update about two but what happens if they get more more points we want to know what their current score is in total so there's the get score but that is an integer this is a string converted from what it is an integer to what we want it to become a string so let's run that quickly last little bit remember we're going to click through all the buttons so we instantiate and so on we don't i don't think we need to update the the vmr but we do need to instantiate first before we run it so we instantiate yes there we go and we can update the score oh it's a two and then now they scored a try and now they scored another try and now they scored three points if i calculate the bmr it should show you that they've got 15 points so that score is updating so that's great okay fantastic and the last question for the 324 button write code to call the method that returns the message indicating the eligibility just display this in the label well that's quite easy we just got to say what call that method that we created so all we do is when we click on this button that label which label result for eligibility so lbl number four the caption property of it must be either low possibility or something and that's just going to be whatever the object is dot eligible and that's a string and this is a string so it fits is that it well let's just look at the marker location 
it's only two marks therefore it's probably just that one line so last run hopefully and we can see if it works so that works where we instantiate we add a couple of points so they let's add two uh, two penalties okay let's do the bmi here that's working there so at the moment they got below eight so therefore it should be a low possibility but now they score a try and now it's a medium and now they scored like maybe a, a couple more tries and now it's a high possibility there we go so great that's the question done for more videos from this exam walkthrough as well as other videos on Delphi, go to our YouTube channel, click on that subscribe button, like our videos, follow us on Twitter and Facebook. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.